Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn how to measure the ovarian follicles on ultrasound. We will measure an individual ovarian follicle using the standard two-dimensional transvaginal ultrasound technique. First, we identify the follicle we want to measure and carefully scan through it in both planes. We scroll or sweep slowly until the follicle appears at its maximum size. This is the frame where the follicle looks largest and most well-defined. It is important not to measure the first image we see, because follicles are three-dimensional structures and measuring them off-axis will underestimate their true size. Once the follicle appears largest on the screen, we freeze the image. Next, we place the calipers inside the follicle, measuring from inner wall to inner wall. We deliberately exclude the follicular wall thickness. This is because the clinically relevant measurement is the fluid-filled diameter, not the thickness of the follicular wall. Including the wall would falsely increase the follicle size and lead to inaccurate assessment of follicular maturity. Now we obtain two measurements at right angles to each other. The first measurement is diameter 1, or D1 which is the maximum diameter of the follicle. The second measurement is diameter 2, or D2, taken perpendicular to D1. These two measurements account for the fact that follicles are often oval rather than perfectly round. Both measurements must be taken on the same frozen image where the follicle appears maximal. Once we have D1 and D2, we calculate the mean follicular diameter. The formula is mean follicular diameter D1 plus D2 divided by 2. This mean value is the number used for clinical decision making, including ovulation timing, cycle monitoring, and fertility treatment planning. Always measure the follicle at its largest visualized size. Measure inner wall to inner wall. Obtain two perpendicular diameters. Use the mean diameter for interpretation. Consistency in technique is essential for accurate serial monitoring. Let's look at a few examples of measuring follicles. In this image, we are measuring this follicle first. So first we place one set of calipers on the maximal dimension at the inner walls of the follicle. And the second set of calipers must be placed perpendicular to the first set. The longer measurement is diameter 1, or D1, and the second measurement is D2. D1 measures 18 millimeters, and D2 measures 14 millimeters. Now we can calculate the mean diameter. It will be 18 plus 14, which is 32. 32 is divided by 2, which gives 16. So 16 millimeters is the mean diameter. So after measuring this follicle, you can measure the other follicles one by one in a similar manner. Our next example shows a dominant follicle with D1 measuring 22 millimeters and D2 measuring 14 millimeters. The mean diameter will be 22 plus 14, which is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18, so it is 18 millimeters. This is another example. The diameter D1 is 19 millimeters, and diameter 2, D2, is 17 millimeters. Mean diameter is 19 plus 17, which is also 36. 36 by 2 is 18 millimeters. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.